What is up, guys? Steve here with Scotch and Things. Got a big box in front of us today. Actually, I've had this for a while and I haven't opened it. Strike plate strider. Um, so, we are going to open this up and see what's inside. I have, so, it's work sharp. I have uh, lots of people ask me what I use to sharpen and this and that. And honestly, I've got enough knives that they don't really need sharpening all that op often. Um, which is crazy. The ones that do, like my hard use, um, work knives, they'll either get sent back in to someone for sharpening, or I've used my brother's work sharp grinder thing, and that's before I really knew any better, but on like some of my, you know, nicer knives, like... I, let's be honest, I won't try and sharpen that anyway. Um, it's easy. Chris Reeve, you know, actually, for how much I use this thing, you see there's gunk on the blade now, it is still really sharp. But my large uh, Sabenza has been set back in for um, spa stuff. But I really wanted to learn how to sharpen myself. Um, because I do, like I said, I do have a... A ton of knives that get used all the time and some are getting dull and some let's be honest don't come with the greatest factory edge like my recent hinderer i'm pretty upset with for a brand new knife how bad that edge is um let's see some other stuff you know just stuff like that and i wanted to you know, and I've wanted to for a long time, but it just seems like such a scary process. So this is, uh, I think this is the name, the Precision Adjust. Let's get that. The Precision Adjust Knife Sharpener. Workshop came out with this a while ago. It was like 50 bucks on DLT, guys. Um, but let's open it up and see what it's like. So my plan is to teach myself on something on a guided system like this so I can eventually you know move up to a oh shit so I can eventually move up to a KME or a Wicked Edge is my plan okay so I've only watched a couple videos on these, so I don't know if I'll set it up now. I need to do some tinkering around with it, and I will show you maybe a video on it. That looks like that goes in there, I bet. <clears throat> yeah. My worry is, and the base seems pretty good, so my worry was it would be too, too floppy. Uh, here's a, you know, you put your knife on there. And I think you can buy more of these. 600. Looks like a ceramic stone. 320. You know, the one I, the video I watched, I thought there were more than just three. Hmm. Maybe I bought the cheap one for 50 some bucks. So I think you can buy more of those. And I saw some guys talking about this gets pretty expensive when you have to buy let's get this in in frame when you have to buy more of these so i'll look into that like i said i just kind of bought it on a whim but there's 600 a 320 and then like a ceramic stone and i don't know how this goes even after watching it it sticks in here somewhere and you kind of 
<laughs> something like that. This is a horrible video, I know, but, oh, I get it. Is that going first? So that goes in here. Oh, it's kind of magnetic. All right, it is magnetic. All righty. And then this, oh, that looks like it's magnetic also. That's pretty simple, guys. Then you put your knife, and then you can adjust here. You can adjust here the angle. Um, you want your edge to be, and just by turning it, that is pretty cool. Okay, we're going to come down here. And I've got a bunch of knives, like I said, that are dull. 15, that's pretty. So I, mean, I guess you would go uh, 320 first, right? Maybe like that. And you just, so you just kind of do this thing across it and there's a little rubber washer down here i think you can adjust your stroke um pretty cool because i have a lot of knives like this tenacious another tenacious a bunch of zts my trusty delica that need that need some sharpening so i'm going to read the instructions i'm going to watch some videos um, to kind of figure this out. So, thanks for watching. Drop a comment down below if you have the system or a system like this. And how easy is it to actually sharpen? I know freehand. Is it the Wicked Edge? Is that freehand? No, the Wicked Edge, is that guided? Wicked Edge? Oh, Apex? Oh, Shoot, I just said it, and I can't even remember. There's the Wick... What are the top ones, the guys? Cami. The Cami and the Wicked Edge. I'm not sure. I just know them by name, but I don't know if they're guided or just like a stone system. Like I said, I've always kind of stayed away from it because it scared me, uh, to be honest with you. It just scared me that I would mess something up, and it's time now that I teach myself how to sharpen, and I want to get fairly decent at it. I would like to move up. Maybe this will be perfect if I can buy other stones for it or whatever, and uh, maybe that'll be great. Or maybe I'll find that I need to move up to something something better. But um, I'm going to read. I'll just, I just kind of wanted to show it to you, do a little unboxing that I finally bought. And I don't know why it's got rubber rings up here too. So it's got two up here, one down here, um, you can take that out and so you can flip your knife over, which is cool. I'm not really, I think that's pretty basic. I mean, honestly, so a little twist here. This is how you open the jaws up here to slide your knife in. Um, it does, I just felt in there, yeah, it's coated rubber in there, so you're not going to clamp down and damage your knife, but I'm guessing you can uh, put some painter's tape or something on your knife just to be safe, but uh, worst video ever, I know, thank you for watching, nine minutes of me rambling about the new work sharp, sharpener I just got. But, so I'm going to go start reading. I'm going to learn as much as I can learn. Like I said, I I don't even watch knife sharpening videos because it terrified me. So, but I needed to, like I said, need to learn, need to get better at it, and wanted to be able to do it myself. Um, so, all right, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Maybe I'll really trash a knife, or maybe I'll get really good at this. We will find out. Bye.